You have received a brilliant performance from your drummer, but the snare part is not quite matching the aggression of the song. You can try and compress the part, but there are other artifacts, bleed-ins, in the recording. Here's one way you can resolve it. So this is the snare track in question. And if I wanted to convert this audio file to MIDI, I simply select it and then hit Control with D and this window pops up. You will see that uh, various components of the drum kit are made available for effecting and I'm looking to capture the snare. So I select snare and you have an option of replacement where the original wave file is muted or to double the original. I want to replace so I leave it at replacement and I observe that the relative threshold is zero. At zero, uh, only one snare has been captured as you can see here. So let's move the threshold down and see if we can capture the other snares. So gently, gradually move it. And And voila, the other snares have appeared. Wonderful. At this point, we hit OK, and you'll notice that the original file has been muted. At this point, we may also audition a library of snares that Logic Pro has kindly offered us. And so on and so forth. Part two of my task today is to level out the velocities of all the snares. To do this, I double click on the MIDI track. I select all the notes in question, but before I do, you'll notice that this particular snare hit is at velocity 45, this is 55, this one is 74. So let's go ahead and level them out. I select them all, I go to Function, MIDI Transform, Fixed Velocity. So I want all of them to be 100, a velocity of 100. I've already selected 100 in the pop-up window, and I've also selected all the notes, so I just go ahead to Operate Only, and close the window. And voila, you'll see that all the notes are 100 and they should sound like this. Please like and subscribe if you found this video useful. Thanks.